What's going on YouTube? Today we did some deadlifts in the courtyard and we were trying to go for kind of our maximum. So consider this a kind of a log video just to keep up with our progress as well as the informational video on if you want to do your deadlift max. Um, so keep in mind we're currently cutting so our carbs are really down meaning our energy is kind of lower and we can definitely lift heavier during a bulk but like I said we're cutting not trying to use that as an excuse just saying it's a little bit tougher so here we started out with 135 and we each did 10 reps 10, 10 to 12 reps and that's just a pretty much a warm up so you want to try to definitely get a good um, warm up in before you do anything involving really heavy weights or else you'll really hurt yourself and let me point out from the beginning that my form isn't the best um, you definitely want to check out my brothers so this is me right now um, forms pretty good with lighter weight but as I get heavier you can definitely see my form alter a little bit so it's something something I definitely need to work on and improve on as I go forward so here for our second set we did 225 and I only suggest you try to max out like this if you know if you've been doing deadlifts for a while so don't do this if you're a beginner and if you can do 2225 then you'll know it um, kind of use this 225 as a um, kind of a guide kind of a gauge to see how many you want to do how much weight how many reps you want to do on your next set so we did 225 Shaw did six I right here did five I believe my form is a little changing a little bit already but still pretty good I needed to work on make it one fluid motion and I want to say that for you beginners out there you really want to try to do these deadlifts are really good for you even though it's intimidating just get it do a couple times and you'll always get better everyone starts out pretty bad but you always improve so here we went to um, looks like 265 no 275 I'm sorry those two plates on the end are rubber 25 pound plates um, looks like my brother did three and I right here I did two reps with the 275 so next we move to three solid plates which is 315 pounds uh, my brother does two reps I believe and three solid form and then I try it with 315 as well. And if you notice, my hands are both facing palm in. I did that on accident, actually. I don't know if you can count that as a full lockout, but right here you can see me coming towards my brother saying, I don't know why I did that grip. So we did, we redid it, one hand facing out, and I definitely lock out here. So I did one rep times 315. And from that point, we put the 25s back on. So we went, this is 365. And um, you really want to use each lift to gauge how much you're going to lift on the next set and how many reps you want to do. It's really about how it feels. So my brother uh, locked out a solid one rep with a 365. And I knew this one might have been too heavy for me, but I wanted to try it out. Me trying to do 365 definitely wasn't happening right there. <laughs> it didn't even move. So tried it one more time. Failed a little bit. And then this one. Did all right. Oh, just couldn't couldn't go up any further. So I took the two twenty fives off and I added two tens. So this made it three hundred and thirty five pounds. I'm doing here, and I lock it out pretty solidly. So I guess this is my um, maximum right now while I'm cutting. I feel like I could have done about three forty five, but I didn't try a next set. That was pretty much it for the day. So um, here's my brother. He added two tens on the sides. So this is three hundred eighty five pounds. Pulls it out. So. This is pretty much his maximum right now. He said he could probably go close to 400, but didn't want to risk any injury. So that's it for deadlift day. Please thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.